Yet another victim of the purge! This plebeian tried to attack me on my way home! Son of a bitch! You shall feel the sti- Oh wait, you're not feeling the sting of my back. Because collision detection. Alright, let, let me position myself. Let me position myself correctly. Ah, there we go. Continue the purge! Infidel! Welcome to part 41 of Grand Theft Auto 4. And now it's time for us to finally cut ties with John Gravali. Not to mention UL Paper. Thank God, I don't want to have to do any more dirty work for him. But the good news is, at least we get to piss off the Ancelotti's and the Russians and liquidize the asset. It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> so what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power. But this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk. Khan had enough of your secrecy bullshit there, you old paper. But nonetheless, we have a long way to travel, from Dukes all the way to Alderney. Unless there's actual dialogue, I'm gonna plan on cutting the trip short from here on in. So, without further ado, I will see you guys when I make it to their compound all the way in freaking Alderney. Sorry for the delay in parts, but yeah, I'm trying to finish up the rest of these parts, finish this playthrough because it's been going on for over a year now and I apologize for that. But enough about that, as you can see, this place is filled to the brim with guards, particularly guards on the roof. Rushing in from the front is a stupid idea, very stupid, in fact, so stupid that I've seen many Let's Players rush in from the front. One person in particular has done this twice. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Dark Side Phil. He actually did rush in the front gate and tried to take on the Russians head on. It did not work. Though it was hilarious, it did not work. So what you're going to do, you're going to take this area right here. First, you're going to have to climb up the dumpster, sorry. And then you're going to have to climb your way up to the roof. Now, the problem with taking this way is the camera. The camera is not Nico's friend. For every action it takes, it jerks away from you. So when you're trying to position Nico perfectly to try to grapple onto a ledge, you're going to more than likely uh, find yourself damn near falling off of the cliff because the camera jerks away from you just like so while you're trying to climb up. And you don't need to be taking fall damage when, as you know, if you hit enough stuff on the way down while taking fall damage, you're going to die. Plain and simple. It has happened to me before. Now then, I'm going to attempt to do something that may look cool at first, but it will be practically stupid due to the fact of my trajectory and aim. I tried to no-scope this bastard, and it failed. 
and it did not work. So I'll just use the uh, carbine rifle to take the guys out on the roof. I mean, the sniper is a good a good idea, and on my practice run, I actually did no scope that guy. By the way, yeah, good luck trying a 360 no scope behind a wall. You can only probably you can do it here. You just need to time it or position it right. Yeah, just expect to call it the first Call of Duty elitist to say, "Hey, that's not how you do a no scope." But I'm gonna have to scope. This area, not this area, I'm pretty sure there was a guy shooting at me somewhere. There's a, ah, there he is, I just saw him, I just saw him. There's the asshole. And I am pretty sure there was a, oh, there's a guy coming at me! Oh, shit! Oh, and I took blunt damage because he hit me in the head. Asshole. Huh. <sighs> God damn it. But whatever the case, to try to avoid taking damage, there are going to be guys trying to rush you. It's best to take off all, I mean, take down all the guys on the roof as much as you can. And if there are still guys shooting at you on the roof, that means you probably missed, and it would be in your best interest to take them down. Now, from this vantage point, you can actually take down, um... Most of the guys on the ground. Oh, there's still one on the roof over there. Good thing their bullets might not reach you. And that's a huge might not. Because when they get a good aim at you, sometimes they'll hit the uh the top of the building. Then again, it'll fly directly over the building and actually hit you. That's one of the things I like about the cover system of this game. I mean, sometimes certain objects will keep you from being hit. Then again, the same can apply. The same can be applied to your enemy. That's what I'm trying to say. So I just decided to whip out my rocket launcher and just make short work of those assholes. Oh, by the way, you can also drop a grenade right in front of the van. That'll just save you the trouble of one. Fan. So yeah, you'll have to wait till the van's destroyed uh, chassis stop smoking and all of a sudden just dissipate before you actually get through the door. Because that van was actually blocking the entryway. Now, there is a body armor around here, I think. Yeah, it's right there. Make sure you pick it up. And also, I do believe there was a uh, first aid kit somewhere else. I'm not sure. But I do know, yeah, there was a body armor there. Now I'm going to have to go downstairs and kill the guy that's there. And the only way to do that is to enter from this door right here. You Make sure you pay attention to the cutscene of where you can enter and where you can exit. And do not be a fool and jump off the roof. Again. Fall damage hurts, and tumbling damage hurts even more. Even if you trip and fall, you will take damage. Funny story, re when I was coming down the stairs, I tripped, fall, and tumbled down the stairs to where I was only down to like 20% life by the time I came here. Yes, there is tripping in this game in case you're wondering. And that's only because a uh, soldier's dead body just so happened to be in the way. Enjoying Nonetheless, I killed that guy on the roof, and that just leaves a few more people left. But, take the RPG, and if you can, blast any van that you see. Oh, I think I blasted, uh... I think I blasted a mobster vehicle. I'm not mobs of vehicle, I meant, uh, I blast a random vehicle instead of blasting the, uh, vans. It didn't explode. Huh, Shit. son of a bitch. Oh, wait, no, never mind, it did. There were, like, six of them, and I just took out maybe two in one shot. Now then. 
Let's just throw a grenade over here. He's shooting up the coke, man. Oh, I'm not shooting the coke. I'm blowing it up. You'll watch it go up in smoke. All the damn time. Now then, there's a couple of guards here. And they are going to be blocking your way to the last two bands. Just kill these guys off and... Just focus on destroying the last two uh, bands. Like so. Oh, shit. He's still alive. And now... All you have to do is just... Wait, that band's not destroyed? Oh, there it is. There it is. But yeah, all you had to do is just pretty much kill that last guy who happens to be there. And he shot me in the head, goddamn asshole. But nonetheless, this mission is over, as is all ties with Rivali. And with that said, the only missions left now is dealing with Phil Bell and James Pegarino. But we're going to continue dealing with Phil Bell in part 42. In the meantime, I just want to revel in the massacre that I have caused. And oh, what a sight to behold. Ah, and there went the, the um... AK ammo. But nonetheless, this is Harvey Man 985. See you guys next time as we're gonna have to go and deal with the Russians yet again. Only this time, we're gonna be aided by Phil Bell. See you in part 42.